The story of the Four Heavenly Kings is deeply rooted in Buddhist cosmology, mythology, and religious tradition. These deities, also known as the Four Great Heavenly Kings, Chatur Maharaj in Sanskrit, serve as protectors of the world and defenders of the Dharma Buddhist teachings. Their origins are linked to both ancient Indian mythology and the subsequent adaptations of Buddhist cosmology as it spread through Asia, including China, Japan, Tibet, and Nepal. The four heavenly kings are said to reside on the lower slopes of Mount Sumeru, the sacred mountain at the center of the Buddhist universe. Mount Sumeru is believed to be surrounded by, by four continents, each governed by one of the kings. The kings are tasked with protecting not only their respective realms, but also the Dharma itself, ensuring the safety and prosperity of all beings. As Buddhism developed, these guardian figures were incorporated into the new religious framework, becoming the four heavenly kings. Each king was assigned a direction, north, south, east, or west, and associated with specific virtues and protective duties. The story of the four heavenly kings is traditionally linked to their roles as protectors of the Buddha and his teachings. The Buddha himself is said to have appointed them to their positions as a means of safeguarding the world from evil influences and ensuring the prosperity of the Dharma. 1. Vaishravana, North King, Role and Symbolism Vaishravana, also known as Bishamantan in Japan, is the leader of the four heavenly kings. He is the guardian of the northern direction and is often depicted holding a banner of victory or a jewel-spitting mongoose. Vaishravan is also associated with wealth, prosperity, and the protection of the righteous. Mythological Story Vaishravana's origin is linked to the Hindu god Kubera, the god of wealth. In Buddhism, he was appointed by the Buddha to oversee the northern realm and protect the faithful. His role expanded to include the safeguarding of all sentient beings, ensuring that they are free from poverty and suffering. 2. Virudhaka, South King, Role and Symbolism Virudhaka is the guardian of the southern direction, depicted wielding a sword. He symbolizes growth and expansion, particularly in terms of the spread of the Buddha's teachings. Mythological Story According to legend, Virudhaka was a powerful figure tasked with protecting the southern realm and ensuring the growth of the Dharma. He is known for his fierce determination to eradicate evil and promote justice. In some stories, he is depicted as a warrior king who fights against the forces of ignorance and darkness. 3. Trutarashtra, East King, Role and Symbolism Trutarashtra is the guardian of the eastern direction and is often depicted holding a lute, symbolizing music and harmony. He is responsible for maintaining social order and ensuring the well-being of the beings in his realm. Mythological Story Tritarashtra's origin story is closely connected with his role as a divine musician. According to legend, he was appointed by the Buddha to maintain harmony and balance in the eastern direction. His music is said to soothe the hearts of beings, promoting peace and unity. He also leads an army of celestial musicians who use their art to protect the Dharma. 4. Virupaksa, West King, Role and Symbolism uh, Virupaksa is the guardian of the Western direction, associated with sight and clairvoyance. He is often depicted holding a snake or dragon, symbolizing his deep wisdom and ability to see through illusion. Mythological Story Virupaksa's story is one of wisdom and insight. Appointed by the Buddha, he is responsible for protecting the Western direction and ensuring that beings do not fall prey to delusion. His clairvoyance allows him to see into the hearts of beings, guiding them towards the truth. He is also associated with the Naga, serpent spirits, who are believed to be his allies in protecting the Dharma. The Four Heavenly Kings and the Buddha The relationship between the Four Heavenly Kings and the Buddha is central to their mythological story. According to Buddhist tradition, when the Buddha attained enlightenment under the Bodhi tree, the four heavenly kings vowed to protect him and his teachings. They each took on the responsibility of guarding one of the four cardinal directions, ensuring that no harm would come to the Buddha or his followers. In some versions of the story, the four heavenly kings are said to have appeared before the Buddha during key moments in his life, offering their protection and blessings. For example, when the Buddha was meditating under the Bodhi tree, they stood guard, preventing any evil forces from disturbing his meditation. 
The Kings in Buddhist Practice Throughout Buddhist history, the four heavenly kings have been revered as powerful protectors. Their images are often placed at the entrances of temples and monasteries, symbolizing their role as guardians of the sacred space. In many cultures, rituals and prayers are dedicated to them, seeking their protection and blessings for health, prosperity, and the success of spiritual endeavors. In Tibetan Buddhism, the kings are invoked in various rituals to protect against obstacles and negative forces. In Japan, Vaishravan Bishamonten became particularly popular among samurai warriors who revered him as a deity of war and victory. In China and Nepal, their images are commonly found in Buddhist art, serving as reminders of their protective presence. The four heavenly kings are more than just mythological figures. They are embodiments of the virtues and protective powers that safeguard the world and the Dharma. Their story reflects the deep integration of ancient Indian mythology into Buddhist cosmology and the subsequent adaptations across different cultures. As guardians of the four directions, they continue to play a vital role in the spiritual lives of Buddhists, symbolizing the triumph of good over evil, order over chaos, and wisdom over ignorance. More information about these beautiful sculptures of four heavenly kings. Thank you so much for watching this video and supporting the channel. Your time, likes, comments, and shares mean a lot to us, and we truly appreciate each and every one of you. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you never miss an upload. Your support helps this channel grow and keeps us motivated to bring you more awesome content. Thanks again, and see you in the next video.